My name's Helen and I've been asked by TrulyScottishTV.com if I would do a series of cooking recipe videos. So today we're going to just start with a very simple loaf. Start simple and we can move up. Just before I start though, I'm going to just say that although I don't actually think I'm a particularly vain person, I am actually going to say that right now this hair is either going to look extremely shiny or extremely greasy. I know which one it is and it isn't extremely shiny. I'm also part of the OrkneyNews.scot and through the OrkneyNews.scot I am doing a green hair challenge which means my hair has not now been washed for 13 days. Anyway, <laughs> so watch this space moment. So back to the bread. Into this bowl I've already measured 400 grams of flour. To that, I'm keeping them separate, we're going to just add a good teaspoon of yeast, half a teaspoon of salt, just approximately. Now you're wanting to, you're doing away with uh, the processed food so you're not wanting to add too much salt and things to your ingredients. Now into that then we're going to just create a well and we're going to pour two tablespoons, I'm using olive oil, any oil should do, rapeseed, Scottish rapeseed, whichever I use what I've got to hand today, it's olive oil. So two tablespoons of olive oil into the well. 200 mils of water. Now the thing about making bread that I've realised is you're actually using half the water to the amount of flour. So in this recipe, obviously 400 grams of flour is 200 mils of water. So you just mix them in together just slowly, it shouldn't take too long, but you'll see it's starting to come together a bit. Now if you feel it's actually what I call like raggy, you know, like bits of rag, then at that point add just a little bit more water. Just mix them together until you feel that it's coming together. You're not wanting it too wet or too dry obviously, it just Keep, keep mixing it and you'll feel it. You'll just feel it starting to soften under your hands and that's about the best way I can describe it actually. Then get rid of your bowl onto a floured surface and just start to knead. Now having watched whoever you know all the various chefs on the telly and things they say 10 minutes I don't think I've ever needed my bread for 10 minutes yet. The other thing for this particular easy loaf is I don't knock it back. So I mean right now we'll just knead for a couple of minutes. Kneading is great. Get all your frustrations out. You know, especially like so this week. Something like, Ugh, you didn't give me a Valentine's card. Is that appropriate? Anybody out there? Or Ugh, I asked the kids to do the washing up. I think you get the picture. It's a great way just to get rid of your frustrations. Now, you don't want to overflower your surface, but also you kind of have it sticking to all the worktops. So you just keep going. You'll feel it starting to change. I mean, already I'm feeling it starting to like, spring back underneath my hands. You're wanting to do it until you feel that it's smooth. Doesn't want, you don't want it to still look like the surface of the moon. But, like I say, you don't need to wait 10 minutes either. Because I'm already, obviously we're doing this in real time. I think we've only been doing it for a couple of minutes. And I am already starting to feel a big, big difference. We'll just stop for a second. Because the last thing you're wanting is to hear me heavy breathing, getting all out of puff. So leave that there for a second. Want to make sure it doesn't stick, so just a wee bit flour underneath it. In your, just a regular loaf tin for this, because this isn't a big loaf. Just a tiny wee drop of oil, with your brush, right round the sides, round the edges. And you must remember to do along the top. The amount of times that I have got a beautiful loaf and then you go to pat it out and it doesn't work. 
So just set that to the side for a second. Another couple of quick kneads. Yeah, definitely starting to feel it softening now. It starts to go like a bit elasticy, and that is how I'm starting to feel it now. If you have got all the time in the world, by all means, you need it for 10 minutes. However, I'm going to say right now, mine's is ready, so we're going to just put it into a slight loaf shape. Nothing, nothing fancy. That's us. Into the tin, cover it with some cling film, leave it for an hour and a half, and then we'll come back and show you what it's like then. Okay, so we have an hour and a half later and we have our risen bread. Yeast is a magical thing. I love making bread because honestly I put it in there tiny wee thing and an hour and a half later and it's actually now starting to look like a loaf. So that is absolutely fantastic. All we need to do now is pop it into the oven. Now your oven needs to be quite hot, about the middle of the oven, 200 degrees centigrade, 400 degrees Fahrenheit, gas mark 5. Now all you need to do is quite gently, because you're not wanting to give it a bump at this late stage, is lift it into your oven My oven always smokes for some reason. I think it's steam actually rather than smoke. 25 minutes. So just as that's in there for its 25 minutes, we'll just do a quick recap. So easy bread today. 400 grams of strong bread flour. Now I use Lidl's, I should have said that because I think it's probably the cheapest you can buy. You're getting 1.5 kilos for about 75 pence, which is really just almost four loaves for 75 pence. So it's 400 grams of strong bread flour, 200 mils of warm water, two tablespoons of olive oil, one teaspoon of yeast and half a teaspoon of salt. So we'll come back in 25 minutes once the bread's cooked and see what like it is then. Okay, buzzer's gone, so 25 minutes later, into the oven, see what like the bread is. Oh yes. That uh, definitely is looking like we have a loaf. Up out onto your cooling rack. We shall just make sure it's going to turn out straight away. So very carefully. Don't want to burn yourself. Just dip it up. See if it comes. Oh, it's coming out straight away. Good show. So all age old, tried and tested. Quick. Knock, knock, knock. Yep. Hollow bread means cooked bread. And that's it. So, I hope you've enjoyed this. And until the next time, thank you very much for watching. Bye.